When it comes to the San Francisco 49ers quarterback position, there's arguably no better insight that you can have coming from none other than former 49ers quarterback Steve Young. Uh, from the beginning, whether it was Jimmy Garoppolo, Trey Lance, and now Brock Purdy, Steve Young has done a phenomenal job of being able to explain his thoughts on what's been going on with the San Francisco 49ers quarterback position. And since the beginning, he has been spot on, whether it's spots on KMBR, whether it's talks with Matt Mayoko like you have right here on 49ers Talk. Steve Young is on point. And Steve Young also wants to see 49ers quarterback Brock Purdy cook. Listen to what Steve had to say regarding Brock Purdy and what he thinks the 49ers should do at quarterback next year right here with Matt Mayoko. We have this incredible, unique human being named Brock Purdy. And I'm just not going to limit him. I'm not going to say, oh, he's not bigger, he's not as strong, he's not as fast. I'm just not going to limit him. I think he's just an incredibly unique human made for quarterbacking, and I'm just, let him cook. I don't know else to say it. I don't want to ju prejudge anything that he can or can't do. I think it's all possible with Brock. So I, if Brock is ready game one, it's not going to be 100%. Anyone who says he can rip up a pass six months later, just I don't think it, it, it belies reality it doesn't mean he can't play 90 percent. so we'll see how that goes but if he's ready i'm sure they'll play him okay so what what just jumped out at you when you watched him play at the end of last season there's a uh, processing uh i call it the force it's like a star wars analogy you know and uh it's something you can't describe it's just someone has the force and i think quarterbacking is so much that way when i see somebody who has the force i don't know how to tell you all the intricacies of what makes that but you you can just tell and so Brock had it so thick. It was like he, uh, Luke Skywalker, like right away, he was just, and so he wasn't the biggest guy. He's not the fastest guy. He's not the strongest arm, but he has the force. And maybe he's strong as anybody who's playing. So that what is what, and then you talk about on top of the culture and the innovative offense and the play calling and the, st and the talent, it all kind of comes together. So I, I, that's why I don't want to limit what Brock could be because it's easy to say the last person in the draft at his size, arm strength and everything else, there's, there's limitations. Right. I think that'd be with talking about Brock Purdy. I don't think you should speak that way because I think he's the kind of guy that's going to make you look like a dummy. Man, Steve Young has been on point regarding these entire quarterback evaluations. Uh, obviously, he knows the position better than anyone. I mean, he is a Hall of Famer at quarterback. But what he says in multiple different spots speaks so true. Obviously, there's so much conversation about the physical tools that Brock Purdy has and or doesn't have doesn't have the elite arm talent, doesn't have elite size, doesn't have elite mobility. There's a reason why Brock Purdy was Mr. Irrelevant in the NFL draft. It's because he does lack some certain physical tools, which we understand a big part of the draft process is analyzing physical tools. The guys that go at the top have elite physical tools, and he just doesn't. But what Steve Young says about Brock Purdy and the force is what makes Brock Purdy so good. It's the intangible things. We talk about it on this channel all the time with Brock Purdy. As a processor, he's arguably, I don't, I, I've called him elite before in regards to processing just because of how special he was right out the gate as a rookie. He has an opportunity to improve his processing and get even better and strongly be labeled as an elite processor. It's one of his best attributes. Not only that, the leadership intangible that he brings to the table, just knowing how to play the quarterback position, which is what Steve Young has talked about and continues to point to why Brock Purdy will continue to have success in this league. And like he said, let Brock Purdy cook. Um, when it really comes to the overall kind of point of what Steve Young was saying, is just basically let's not limit this guy. Let's not put him in a box. Even though, again, he doesn't have the elite measurables, that doesn't mean you put him into a box and he can or can't do certain things. Brock Purdy has proven that he can play at a pretty high level right out the gate, thrown into the fire as a rookie. Now, what is he going to look? look like you know obviously having to go through the uh 
UCL surgery, coming back from that. What is that process going to look like? That obviously changes things and puts a little bit of a pause on the expectation. But overall, we know what Brock Purdy can do already. And the locker room agrees, Kyle Shanahan agrees, the franchise agrees that Brock Purdy can play at a pretty darn high level, even just like Steve Young talked about, having limitations in certain physical areas. But of course, we know playing quarterback is much more than just having physical tools. Look at Jamarcus Russell, one of the biggest arms we had ever seen enter the draft with the number one overall pick, but he didn't have the force like Steve Young talks about that Brock Purdy has. And those are the intangible qualities that turn good to great. And so we still have to see from Brock Purdy. Um, obviously, what we've seen so far is a really, really good sign for what the future holds. But got to see how he rebounds from that UCL, what he looks like in training camp, preseason, and ultimately when he gets his first crack at starting after his pretty magical run as a rookie. But let me know what you think about what Steve Young had to say. I can listen to Steve Young talk about quarterbacks all day because it's he knows it so well. He doesn't bog you down with all the intricacies. He can explain it in, I guess, what you could say, layman's terms, you know, just that any average person can listen and understand. That's one of the great – one of the reasons why I love listening to Steve Young talk about the quarterback position. Shout out to Matt Mayoko for the interview. Uh, go listen to the whole thing at 49ers Talk Podcast uh, presented by NBC Sports Authentic. Uh, you already know what to do. Smash that like button and hit the sub button. Shout out to everyone who got us over 70K subs. Let's go. Appreciate you guys.